Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's Richie from Boston's my second video today. I just had a thought, so I'm going to share it. I know for a fact that I have subscribers that are active Special Forces soldiers. I know for a fact that I have subscribers that work for the Department of Defense. I know for a fact that I have police officers, federal agents, maybe a judge, I don't know that for a fact. I know for a fact that I have people that are lawyers, doctors, etc. that listen to my channel. And because you don't want people to make fun of you or you don't want to risk your career being ridiculed as a conspiracy theorist, you don't say anything. But here's the deal. I literally just got a text from someone in Texas and believe it or not, a squirrel in Texas has tested positive. Oh, a squirrel in Colorado, where I'm at right now, has tested positive for the bubonic plague. You see, when everybody falls for COVID-19, even though months and months and months go by, absolutely nothing changes. Doctors come out of the woodwork saying this is not real. But people still do what they're told, wear the mask, stand where they're supposed to. Do all, they jump through all the hoops the government lays before you. Well, they know they can pull the bubonic plague. And do you understand how, men, how much they're going to capitalize on that? The fact that they've got the balls with COVID still in the wings, bringing out the bubonic plague after saying, one guy in China tested positive. Well, who is it that's going out testing squirrels in Colorado looking for the bubonic plague? You have to test for a specific plague. But, I mean, fortunately, fortuitously enough, one guy in China and now one squirrel in Colorado. They're going to do this. They're going to do this again. Listen, if you have credentials, now you have to show that you have balls. Email me, rjcjr one zero at yahoo.com and put in the title I have creds okay it's time for you to speak up come on man this is all our country there's no way you're not watching this all going down I don't care if we can't win this battle because it looks like we can't and according to the bible we don't we don't not, not now we don't we win in the end but now we don't they will have their time you see what I'm saying? And they know it, which is why they're getting ready to get rid of the dollar. But if you want to leave this earth knowing that you've known the truth and kept your mouth shut, and I'm talking to all you guys that I've spoken to face-to-face, -to -face, Department of Defense, Special Forces, U.S. Marshals, Federal Agents, local law enforcement, sheriffs, lawyers, doctors, come on, man. I'm just some dude from Boston. But I got a platform for now that people actually listen. We need to try to awaken those last few Christians that have been lulled to sleep. That's our job. By everybody going along to get along to continue living in this material world, you need to make up for it right now. Email me and help me get this word out. Because we are at critical mass right now. It absolutely blows me away, and I already told like 10 people that I talked to that of course they'll find bubonic plague in the United States. Once they say it's in China, two days later it's in the States. So that squirrel must have just taken a flight to China and helped that farmer work in his field, or that farmer flew out to Colorado to help that squirrel work in his tree. Laughable, right? Ludicrous, ridiculous, stupid, and yet that's what they're presenting us. We need to stand up. You need to make up for all the not saying anything that you've done. Way too many people do that and it's ridiculous. The wheels are coming off the cart right around us. And people are just gonna try to just put a mask. I'll put a mask that says God comes first. You're blocking what God put there. We breathe automatically. That was something God thought was important enough that we weren't even in charge of it. It's automatic. Same thing with your heartbeat. Well, now they're telling us to cover our mouths and could be for years. And they're already telling us on the news that COVID is here forever. And I already told you the other day, they're stacking up the next disease, disease. See, everything's gonna be diseases from now on. 
even though we never, well, Ebola spread very fast. I never met anybody with Ebola. Ebola never, never affected me or any of the vast amount of people I have contact with ever. Ebola was nothing. COVID's not even real. I mean, how many doctors do we have to come on? How many medical white papers do we have to show? It's time for people to step up and do your part. Help me out here, will ya? Or go down while they're playing music and the water comes over the bow saying, gee, I wish I should have, I wish I had done 